Hello everybody and welcome back to our second attempt at this video. <laughs> we recorded an amazing video, something you, like you've never heard before and it deleted it. Yes, yeah, technology, right? <laughs> How's it going everyone? We didn't necessarily know if we were gonna make a part kind of three of this video. No new information has come out, but A, so many people commented on that last video. I mean, we got such a response for it that a lot of people were really invested in this story. The saga continues yes! of Trinity Rodman and Ashlyn Harris. Yeah, Washington Spirit v. Gotham. Um, and also, there was some information that, did, that we did not include that I actually think is vital to this story. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, as we left this, Washington Spirit and Trinity Rodman struck back from the last game. They won 3-1. So this is one vital part we did not include in our last video or the last two videos. We The where this kind of started was the comment that Washington Spirit put on Twitter. And I'll put it on the screen. It's the gif of Ali Krieger falling. Okay. And it said too soon. And somebody in the comment section reminded us or let us know, hey, that wasn't the first strike. Gotham actually quote unquote started this. So I'm, I'm actually going to put it on the screen. So Gotham just acquired Kumi Yokoyama from Washington Spirit. And yeah. they, well, they were one of the fan favorites at Washington Spirit. Favorite. And famously, they proposed to their girlfriend, I think slash wife, at, I believe, Audi Field, maybe Segra Field, but Audi Field. They, they yeah. proposed to their wife there. Um, so this player was very special to Washington. Yes, and now they were traded to uh, Gotham. Yes, and so knowing that backstory, Gotham tweets before the first game, and they tweet this, and I think this got some people, uh, they noticed this tweet because it was specific. They put a picture of Yokoyama, and they put too soon, question mark. They started the battle. I actually remember seeing this, and I might have liked it on our Instagram. But yeah, I originally saw this, mm -hmm. but I didn't put two and two together. Yeah, too soon. So a lot of people had said, "Hey, they started it. They started the you know they lit the fire under Washington Spirit's yeah. bomb." Um, and I, we did not mention that. And thank thank you for the person who I think two people left it in the comment section. So the game played. It was one one. The very first game. And this was another point that people had brought up. As we remember, it was the gif of Ali falling. And Ali falling on the turf, whatnot. Two, I think maybe one or two people left this comment. The fact that they singled out Ali for that gif and for that fall and, just, and you know, they said too soon. Ali and Ash famously played for Washington Spirit. Um, and yeah. Ali is from the Washington, Virginia area. And they did not have a good experience there. U.S. Women's National Team stars Ashlyn Harris and Allie Krieger reportedly say they struggled to play for a homophobic Washington Spirit owner. And the homophobic actions of former owner Bill Lynch were the reason why they left for a different club. People thought that was out of line. They already had a bad experience. They couldn't be, they couldn't live who, they couldn't be who they wanted to be there. Right. And then Washington Spirit takes that to another level and singled out Allie and kind yeah. of taunts her. Salt in the wound. I'm not sure if that was the intention. Right. But I could see how that, I could see how people could see that's a thing. You know? Yeah. Because in 2015, Lynch refused to allow the spirit to host a pride night throughout his tenure. A decision Krieger described as shameful. So there's a lot of history between Washington and Allie. And to single out Allie, I think a lot of people thought that crossed the line. Mm, yeah. And so that was another kind of story and more context to the situation of why people thought even though Gotham said it first Washington Spirit might have taken it too far the whole story makes more sense with all that added context mm -hmm. yeah yeah I saw a lot of Ali Ash comments a lot of Trinity comments and so going back to Trinity Rodman you know she could say well she was defending her club when she initially got involved um but then when she scored on Ash and then she did the victory dance or whatever. A few people point out, you know, it's just kind of a TikTok thing. That's kind of a TikTok dance. Um, her and Ashley Sanchez are on TikTok a lot doing TikTok dances. So maybe it wasn't geared right at Ashley. But, I mean, it was right in front of her, right in the box, right right there. 
I still think it was the chicken dance. And one person <laughs> said it, they thought it might have been the chicken dance too in our comment section. JK. Um, <laughs> then I see someone saying, then I see some, then I see a couple people say things like this. Trinity is annoying, needs to respect her elders. Oh dear. Ashlyn's generation is the reason she was able to get such a good contract. Um, and I saw a few uh, comments like that. Then someone says, need to nip it in the bud. Rodman is the highest paid, but she isn't a lock for the U.S. Women's National Team yet. And respect for previous U.S. team members has always been a given. Rodman's fellow Washington teammates need to clean up this media mess. Too much is on the line. Online for next year for a seamless mixing of the rookies and the veterans. Um, so that was kind of the idea, like kind of like, Trinity is good. Everyone knows she's good. Respecting the elders is something that, you know, you should respect the people who came before you. Right. Yeah. The trailblazers, if you will. Yeah. And then, okay, I'm actually going to read this comment because I thought this kind of hit the nail on the head for a lot of things. And it's going to kind of lead us to our next point. A bit of rivalry never hurt the game. Both women are competitive and neither is afraid of expressing themselves. Trinity has that youthful exuberance where she has no issue touting her skill, and zero deference to the players who came before her. Ash, the most veteran players, will naturally feel some opposition to her statements. It's like this in all professions. Young people show up and have natural abilities and talents, but they lack the wisdom, which only comes with time. And then someone says back to that, I think Trinity's wisdom will come if she's surrounded by a strong team who will be able to guide her, give her good pieces of advice, and help her stay on earth despite her success at such a young age. This is so important for young stars, no matter the field they are in, music, acting, sports, etc. But for now, the spirit seems to do the contrary, encouraging her in her childish behavior. At least this is the impression that we have from the social media manager's team. And then they say back to that. Yeah, they are sort of baiting her to act out. So if anyone needs to grow up, it's the social media director for a spirit. Exactly. Because you know she will have she will have the platform to accomplish great things on and off the field like some vets does, like some vets do. But she needs to be guided. I'm pretty sure that she's a good soul and she'll find her way. Again, if well surrounded. Surrounded. And I thought that was a perfect a perfect comment. I think that hit the nail on the head for me that a lot of people in the comments were talking about rivalries. We love, sports loves a good rivalry. I mean, most people in the comments said, yeah, this is good. It's good for rating. It's good for rivalries. Mm -hmm. But this idea of the social media managers kind of fueling the fire, it, it's almost like they're taking on the their own, their own agenda, agenda <laughs> or their own, they're throwing their own hat in the ring. Is that the saying? <laughs> Where it's almost like, let the players duel it out, but don't have that, like, they're being kind of antagonistic, the social media managers. Mm -hmm. And kind of being like instigators or instigating this when, you know, I don't know if it's their job to be instigating this. Mm -hmm. Kind of bring it back a little bit and let the players talk about it because there's always been rivalries, but social media is new when it comes to sports, like in this, this context. You know, back in the day, it was, Soundbite from athlete, soundbite from athlete. Now it's soundbite from athlete, social media manager, social media has their take than the other athlete. So it's a kind of a new media when it comes to that. I think you mean telegrams from back in the day. That's, <laughs> you mean not soundbite, telegrams? Yeah, 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 back in the day, totally, yeah. totally. So I think that I think the social media managers have to be careful. They have to walk a fine line between not getting too involved, but kind of just making it playful at the same time. Okay, but check this. What if both social media managers on um, both teams, oh. Gotham and Spirit, what if they actually have beef with each other? Ah! And so it's like a beef off. Like <laughs> like the Wendy's, the Wendy's when they were getting all feisty a couple years ago. Um, Yeah, I originally said that in the you last did. video. And, and I cut it. She cut it. <laughs> I cut it from my good bits. when I edit it. And then somebody in the comment section was talking about when Wendy's were getting, was getting feisty against McDonald's and everyone. Yes, yeah, so that person gets it. We get it, Wendy's. <laughs> uh, I think that's an interesting kind of debate too in regards to the social media managers because you know trinity is an up she's the future you know and is there a certain level of respect you should give probably but you know it's almost like you should but to be told you have to is kind of like i don't know nobody puts baby in the corner yeah so the one last thing i will talk about is that ashlyn a couple days ago posted this she posted this on her instagram and it's still up but she posted this and um i think a lot of people think this was 
geared toward or aimed at either Trinity or Washington Spirit. Oh, of course. Absolutely. And I will play it now. Keep my wife's name out your fucking Okay, that was pretty iconic. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> it was the playoff, get your name, my wife's name out of your mouth from the Oscars. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think people think that was kind of geared toward the whole situation. And it yeah. was iconic. But I thought it was funny. I liked it. And I mean, you know, th- those are the kind of, I think those should be back and forth. Getting the social medias of the teams involved, I don't know about that. But I thought that was pretty iconic because, you know, Ashlyn isn't going to, She's not backing down from what's going on, you know. We love a good clap back. Yeah, it was definitely a clap back. Exactly. So what does everyone think? Um, this will probably be the last video about this for a while, but we, we shall unless see. Unless there's new developments. <laughs> unless there's a 3.0 somewhere yeah. or whatever. And now knowing this information about Gotham starting it, quote unquote, do you think that they started it? Or do you think Washington just went too far, you know? or um, I think Gotham's was very tasteful, very funny yeah you know not yeah. just defending them because they're my team that's true <laughs> questions comments down below what does everyone think hopefully this recorded this time so uh, if you hear it it did say a little prayer <laughs> text later everyone have a great night bye bye